Hey babes, Jessica Rose here with another video for Alopecia Awareness Month. Today I wanted to talk about how it is okay to not be okay. Um, doing these videos and putting myself out there every day for 20 days now has really been uplifting and motivating and inspiring to my journey, but it's also been a little, I don't know, I don't want to say depressing, but it, it's made me insecure um, and I want to address that as part of your hair loss journey you're never always going to be 100% all the time like you're gonna have days where you don't feel pretty you know or days you just wish you could throw your hair up in a ponytail and just go outside or go to the gym and not have to worry about your glue not being tight enough and you know like just to think about that extra stuff you have to think about when you're losing your hair. So I get that social media broadcasts this perfect journey. Like, oh, I'm out about my alopecia. I wear wigs. It's so fun. It's so great. And yeah, that's one side of it. But there's also the side that's not really put on social media, which is I'm insecure. I don't want my boyfriend to look at me like this. Uh, I feel like I am ugly. I just want my hair to grow. Uh, wearing wigs is daunting and expensive. You know, it's you're not going to see a lot of that, but it's out there and it's real. And I think with my journey, I just want to share that that's the authentic part of it. It's you're going to have ups and downs and that's okay. You don't have to be okay with it all the time. You don't have to see someone rocking their bald head and be like, oh, I have to get there. That has to be me, otherwise I haven't accepted it. No, that's not true, because that person that has their head shaved and is rocking it, she has bad days too. Um, just like that girl in the beautiful wig, like, yeah, that's great, but you know how much money she had to save for that? It's expensive. So social media makes it seem like it's glamorous and wonderful to be out and open and accepting your alopecia, and yes, a lot of days it is, but then there's some days where you're gonna feel like shit and you wish that you could just hide and you wish that the world didn't know or you wish that you had your own hair and that's okay. Just know that you're not alone because you know, for the most part, everybody feels this way. Even when they're not losing their hair, people feel this way in every journey of their life. Like there's always gonna be ups and downs. You're never gonna be 100% happy with your t yourself 100% of the time and that is fine. Uh, the biggest thing for me that I've learned is just living in those feelings and accepting them and recognizing when I'm in them and when I'm having a bad day and when I'm feeling insecure, I need to recognize that because if I don't, it starts coming out in other areas. I'll just start being bitchy for no reason. And um, I have to check myself and be like, okay, why am I acting like this? Or why am I binge eating right now? Oh, I know because I'm feeling insecure with my hair journey right now. Um, so it's really just about checking in with your feelings and knowing where they're coming from because at least recognizing it puts everything into perspective. And I think that's the biggest part of this journey is just knowing where your feelings are at all the time and knowing it's okay to feel those feelings. Just don't live in them forever. You know, let, experience it and then let it go. Um, and know that you're not alone because this journey is tough and it's not, it's always going to be a roller coaster. It's never going to be consistent. As long as you are, 80%, 75 to 80% of the time, like feeling good about yourself, great. Have that 20 to 25% not feeling great, that's fine because it's better than, you know, the alternative. It's better than feeling like shit 80% of the time and only feeling good 20% of the time. Um, and that was what I was at really before I started exploring myself and what made me happy, what made me sad, and really going through meditations and self affirmations and therapy so now that i flopped the numbers i am great most of the time but i do have bad days and you will too and that's okay that's what makes us human no one is always fucking happy no one fucking loves themselves that much if they say they do they're fucking lying so social media definitely portrays an image of perfect and perfect doesn't exist so let's just be imperfectly perfect together perfectly imperfect together yeah that works all right guys i hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you later bye